Hello everybody, good quick video for you. I recently went on vacation to Europe, traveled all around, and one of the great places we got to go to was Venice and Murano. And so I picked up some cane, large, large chunks of cane here that you can see that were just really cool to me. And these were on basically kind of a clearance bin. And so I'm gonna leave them just as they are and I'm gonna put them in with another full fuse that I've got going in just to kind of clean them up, round them out a little bit, and then attach some jewelry bales to uh, make them pendants. So uh, most of them are pretty thick, you know, kind of in that six millimeter range anyway. So I don't expect them to lose much shape. This one's a little bit thinner, um, but I'm just gonna put them in with another load and see what they look like when they come out. I just think these are super cool. Now these are not, uh, generally speaking, I guess, I guess I can't say with any kind of authority, but generally speaking, most uh, Murano glass that you find uh, in Murano is 104 COE, so this is not compatible with my, my beloved bullseye. So I wasn't buying these with the intention of doing anything else other than putting them in the kiln for a fire polish um, and then attaching some jewelry bales. So I've got a full fuse going in. Um, that'll be about it's actually a lower temp full fuse for me. I'm probably going to put my other pieces in at about 1450, yeah, maybe 1460. I don't know. I'll decide in the end, but I thought I would just toss these in with it then and see how they turn out. I don't know that I'm going to do all four of them at the same time, or excuse me, all eight of them at the same time. Uh, I might just do two uh, to kind of see how I like that firing first before I use them on all of them. But I uh, thought I would go ahead and show you this quick project and a little bit of an idea here. If you happen to go and find something that you know is not compatible, doesn't mean that you can't still purchase and use and play a little bit. So I ended up firing these at 1465 for 10 minutes and they rounded out beautifully. They came out great. There's no devitrification. I attached my own glass bales uh, to the back and they're, they're wonderful. So very happy with this and uh, hope you learned a little bit of something. Make sure that you're following me on Facebook because I'll post some updates there. Also make sure you're subscribing and set your notifications so you get to see new videos as they come out. Hope everybody's having a great one. Keep on fusing.